everyone, it's Haley, and today is Bookmas Day 14. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Today I will be watching Eloise at Christmas time, but today in this video, I'm going to be doing my Christmas bookshelf scavenger hunt. So I dressed for the occasion. I have on my ugly Christmas sweater, which has a dachshund on it, and it says dashing, you know, dachshund, dachshund through the snow. Wow. I butchered that one, but you get the point. Isn't it cute? So I do this every year, and I'm using the same prompts that I do every single year, and I actually wasn't going to do it this year, but so many of you guys, when I put out my initial Bookmas video list, were like, where's the Christmas bookshelf scavenger hunt? So it is back by popular demand. So starting off, with prompt number one, which is to find a book that is set at Christmas time. I actually have a pile beside my bed, so I'm gonna grab that. Uh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Okay, so we have A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, obviously set at Christmas time. The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman, another Christmas classic. Carols in Chaos by Cindy Anstey, set in Christmas back in the day. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by L Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, set at Christmas in Manhattan. 25 Days Till Christmas by Poppy Alexander, haven't read this one yet. The 12 Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, also Christmas in New York. This one is wintry, I don't know for sure if it's set at Christmas, so we'll set it aside. It landed on my bed, I promise it is fine. Hidden Sea by Gregory Maguire, a Nutcracker retelling, so I'm a assuming it's set at Christmas, and then A Christmas Treasury by various authors. It's all Christmas stories, so it is set, obviously, at Christmas. What an overachiever. Look at all the books I talked about. Now I have to put them back, though. What struggles? Prompt number two is to find five cold words. I'm gonna try and not repeat stuff from past years, but I also don't know what I said in past years, so I'm just gonna, like, go off of what I think I would have said, and that will not be what I pick, but I already found a book! Yay! Cold is in her bones by Peter Nelvin and Arsdale. Cold is a cold word because it's literally cold. It is what it says. Oh, here's another one. All on my TBR card. I almost just hit myself in the face with it. Wow. Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. Winter is cold. I mean, at least if you live where I live, it's definitely cold. That is two. Now I need three more because that is how math works. Do 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 do, 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 do. What else do I have that is cold? I must have something else that's cold. Frost Blood by Ellie Blake. Frost is cold? How many was that? Was that three? I lost count and I didn't even add any more. What? Ooh, here's another. Oh, oh, oh. Is this cheating? I don't know. Looking for Alaska. Alaska's cold. I just need one more. Something cold, something snowy. Okay. I have looked for a very long time and I can't find anything else, so I'm going to go with something that I definitely have said before. But that is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh, because snow itself is cold. Number three is a book with red and green on the cover, which is always very difficult because no one pairs red and green because then you end up looking like this, like Christmas. So let's go to the green section and see if we can find anything that also has red on it. It doesn't have to be a lot, it just has to be both. I know Splintered by A.G. Howard is what I say every year, so I'm not going to say that this year. Okay, there's nothing in the greens. What about the reds? Do we have green on any of you? Ooh! Yay! So, Dear Haiti, Love Elaine by Micah Molit and Maritza Molit has red, obviously, very red, and then also green all over. This is also a really cool cover. Number four is a book with a character with a festive name. I don't... Why? Like, I never know what characters' names are. I never remember them. So why would I do this to myself? Mm. I need someone named Noel or something, but like, there's no one named Noel. What's your name? Andy is not Noel. What's your name? That's definitely not Noel. Oh, I actually remembered the name of the character in this book, but it's not Christmassy, but that's still impressive. Oh, her name is Daisy Winters, which it's not her first name, but I feel like that's as close as we're gonna get, so I'm gonna go with it. Look, it's a visitor! Hi, Jackson. Shouldn't you be sleeping? Apparently not. Number five is a festive object. Where do I even begin? Look at all of this. Look at all the festivities! So we have a Christmassy moose, we have our Christmas countdown reindeer, 
a Christmas tree, polar bear, North Pole Road sign, Christmas tree again, another Christmas tree, is there such a thing as too many? I don't know, Nutcracker, Gingerbread House, my little Christmas wiener dog who's my favorite, I love him, he goes that way, we have a Christmas moose lantern, the Grinch, Christmas fox with a scarf, a bunch of Christmas mugs, and a Christmas squirrel. Yay! Number six is a book with baking in it, and I always go with the same two, but I, I can't think of any others on my shelves that have baking in them, so I'm going to continue to go with those, but that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Obviously, baking in both of these, and they're both also very, very good. Next is a book with a wintry scene on the cover, and I'm actually going to challenge myself this year to find five, because I think I can do it. Let's see. So, we have A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir has a snow snowy, wintry scene. Yay! I had another one that I had out that I was thinking of. Ooh, here it is! Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Ice, you know, frozen crown. Very wintry! Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis has an eye with snow on it, and it's all very wintry. Even this, everything is winter. Was that three? Do I need two more? I can't count. I think so, though. Well, I think I've mentioned this one before, but it's the first book that comes to mind when I think of wintry scenes, so Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. And finally, ooh, The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody has all sorts of different snowflakes on it. Number eight is a book with silver and gold on the cover, which is very hard because I don't think that there's many. Usually it's either or, but... I will find something. Silver and gold, silver and gold, do do do. Oh, I can't get it out. Yay. Okay, so it's kind of great. No, that's silver. That's definitely silver. The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern has the gold keys, and then I feel like the ribbon is very silver. It's like kind of white gray, but I think it's silver. Next is a book that was a gift, and I know just the one. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. I've never seen this book before. I've never owned it. What? But actually, Actually, this was a fueling of my addiction by my parents. They got me this copy when they went out west this past fall, and I'm very happy to have it. Next is a title that describes how Christmas shopping feels. Oh boy. Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. I feel like it's a fight or flight situation to try and like get your gift. You're like, do I fight for it or do I just leave and order it online because that's easier, which is usually what I end up doing. Now we have come to the final prompt, the one that I dread every year, and that is is to spell Santa Claus using book titles. So let's do it. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's also coming off of my bookshelf. I need an S. <laughs> S. That was very noisy coming off of my shelf. I need an A. A. Santa Claus, you need to move polar bear. I need an N. An N. Anyone? Oh, yay. N. And a T. Give me a T. T. Where's the T? Why do I have nothing that starts with a T? Ooh! T! And another A! Why do I feel like I have no books all of a sudden, even though I have so many? Ooh, here's an A. Ta-da! Santa! Now we need a Claus. Do I need a C? Oh, perfect! It's right there! C. An L. Oh, there's an L. And then another A. Oh, there's another A. And U. Yay! And then an S. Where is an S? Where is an S? Yay! Santa Claus! Okay, so let's do this. So we have Santa, Sky Without Stars, Again But Better, Never World Wait, The Triumphant, and Aurora Rising. And then Claus, we have Circle of Shadows, Lola and the Boy Next Door, The Accidental Beauty Queen, Until It Fades, and Spellbook of the Lost and Found. Santa Claus! So that was the Christmas bookshelf scavenger hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button, then click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I'm posting 21 videos over the course of December, so you don't want to miss any of those. And you can also follow my social media. All my handles and links and all that stuff will be down below for you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!